Meanwhile, there's a big relief for Houghton police officials as the province's busiest police station, Hillborough, records only one serious offence during the 2024 crossover. The province's police commissioner, Elias Mawela, has hailed the men and women in blue for ensuring a safer festive for one of the most dangerous areas, not only in Gauteng, but the whole country. For more on this, we're joined by City of Johannesburg Public Safety MMC, Dr. Mpini Tswaku. Dr. Tswaku, a very good afternoon and a Happy New Year to you. Well, good afternoon, sir, and Happy New Year to you and to the listeners, uh, what the, the, the viewers at home. Thank you so yeah, much. That's beautiful. Let's talk about that. I mean, traditionally or historically, yes. if you want, uh, Hillbrow has been one of the most dangerous places on New Year's Eve. I mean, we've seen some disturbing visuals over the years, microwaves and fridges being thrown uh, outside yes. the buildings. Yeah. But uh, last night was quite peaceful. What would you credit that to, Dr. Tswaku? Uh, no, the, the problem was us. The lawmaker, the the law enforcement agencies were lazy, lazy to the fullest. I'm not going to lie about that. It was just I'm happy that uh, I welcome the fact that the the SEPs were on the ground. Um, um, I mean they were saying that they were doing Operation uh, Chanela. It's good. We welcome that that Operation Chanela must happen on a daily basis especially in the CBD and Hillbrook and Yeovil. And also there's a place called Honeydew as well. Those are the places where there's a high crime rate. I think that they might have heard, uh, because one of the operational plans of the JMPD was to saturate CBD, all of them. I said all the, all the, the JMPD officers need to, need to saturate all the corners of CBD and take a non-nonsense approach especially the Hillbro. I said, we don't want to hear anything happening to Hillbro, anything, none whatsoever. The issues of people throwing stoves, throwing all that nonsense, it must never happen. Even EMS, it was on a standby, on high alert. Every, I said, every single area, there must be police, law enforcement areas. Whoever is, is breaking the, you know, the, you know, the, the law, bylaws and all of the criminal activities, Everyone with the guns, they're shooting at police. They must shoot to kill. They must never hesitate like, like that. And the undercover unit, the Janusberg, uh, you know, the, the, the JMPD TRU was also on the ground. That's the unmarked vehicles and everyone were on, on, on the ground. I'm happy that the South African police, that they were on the ground. And they must do that every single time because when we do operation, they don't come around. So, so now they've shown the country... They've shown us that they've got the capacity to ensure that the CBD is safe for the community, uh, uh, everyone. So we welcome that. And it must happen and stay like that. They must come to the CBD as well, Yovin, uh, and all in the station where there's a high crime rate. Yesterday I was happy because it shows that, good, yes, um, if we put, if there's a political will and we all work together, it's fine. You see, I'm happy now also that They've managed to arrest a lot of people because JMPD, they, we can arrest people, but to lock them up, you find that there's a resistance with Serbs. So yesterday, they were locking up and showing people that if you are jaywalking or you are drinking, uh, you know, walking around with alcohol, you can be arrested. So yesterday, they were arresting them, putting them in jail. That's why people, they were shocked, and some of them, they decided to really stay at home because Serbs was out in full force which is what we've been telling the provincial commissioner and general marsha please go to the ground do your job and ensure that all the law break, people who are breaking the law must be there must be consequences and the consequences are whoever breaks the law must be sent to jail they did that yesterday and people they saw yes sir, there's a lot of people on, on the ground there's serfs there's jmpd there are private security bad boys everyone so it is possible. I'm, I'm, I'm very happy. Dr. Tsoko, you, you speak about a no-nonsense approach. Does it come yeah. down to simply the visibility? Because we've seen in previous uh, operations that police visibility 
also does help to a certain extent. But when you say no-nonsense approach, I mean, what exactly do you mean? Was it a question of, as you said, that uh, if, if uh, police find themselves in a situation to quote you, in a situation where they are being shot at, they have to shoot back? Is that the no-nonsense approach that you think has worked and should continue being uh, implemented going forward? We are doing that currently in the city of Johannesburg. We've got an undercover unit called the Johannesburg TRU. It's a crime, it's a new crime prevention unit launched at the end of November. It is taking a non-nonsense approach. After it was established in, in its uh, 15 days, uh, after it was established, that unit managed to recover over 40 guns. We've arrested a lot of the people, and there were four people who were, who were actually uh, exchanging fire with the one with the JMPD, uh, the, the TRU. They were made to meet their maker. We don't play there in the city of Johannesburg. There's an approach there that, uh, you know, with, with police visibility, I agree, it is fine. You've got the normal JMPD officers which are there. It's a crime prevention unit which are going into the areas, listening to the patrollers, the neighborhood watchers, uh, and show that there's a visibility at night. They're doing, and, you know, the nightlife with the EMS, the, you know, the nightlife is when they go into taverns, into the areas of entertainment, and show that they actually, you know, they comply, they comply. And after that, they will put up, you know, the blue lights, get into the, you know, the, the, these, you know, the communities. But there is an undercover, a tactical unit, reaction unit, is JPD True. That one, the non-nonsense approach special unit, it's an undercover unit, it's not wearing anything. You see them now, you see them no more. They can be around you and next to you. We've made a lot of arrests. And, and if you go to many police stations in, in the Johannesburg, they actually welcome it because we, the, 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 the JMP has taken a decision that we, 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 we are fighting with the criminals. We, we, we are actually at war with each them. Whoever shoots at the officers, we are going to shoot them back and we shoot to kill. That, that is what we're actually having. Mm -hmm. And we warn all the thugs and criminals out there that the Johannesburg is going to be safe. And, and, you know, and, and what, what, what we, we must do, I mean, in the, in the election, after the, the main uh, election, when the EFF is in power, it will ensure that the police are remunerated properly, especially the National Intervention Unit and the TRU. Those mm -hmm. people, they don't have money. Like, I mean, they, they need more money. We must, we must pay them more. We must pay our officers, uh, uh, all of them, the, the SEPs officers, the JMPD, and especially if we want to increase this manpower, they are police reservists. We must, we must actually hire them, bring them on board as well, because there are people out there. This, I tell you now, uh, uh, in this crime can be fought, but it needs a what? A political will. But I know that yeah. when you get up there in the national and the provincial, we're going to fight it. They, 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 they're showing it. Uh, is all in, in, in Johannesburg. There was no crime in Johannesburg. We must do that. Operation Chanel must happen not once in a while. It must happen on a daily basis, or I can say on a three times a week. Let us saturate the area. Mm. Let's go and find these criminals. Let's Dr. not wait up until crime happens. Let's go and find them. Dr. Sok, in the interest of time, there's a few things that I want to touch yes. uh, base with you on. Uh, th 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 this particular operation that we saw last night, was it a joint yeah. operation um, between the police yes. uh, and yourselves? Tell us more about um, how it worked. And yes. you, you spoke about capacity also, uh, which many people have been saying that uh, it does look like our police do not have the capacity. But based on what happened last night and over the period, uh, festive period, it does look like there's capacity. Tell us a little bit about the operation um, last night. Look, the, the, the operation last night, it was Operation uh, Chanela. Uh, it actually brings everyone, I mean, it's a, it's a SEPS operation, but, uh, you know, because we are derived, you know, through the, the act of, like, of SEPS, so we actually joined them. We had our Nyalas there. I don't know why Mobile did not, uh, you know, uh, saying that JMPD was there. Uh, we, we got the acting chief of police was there. We've got the DD judge that was there. All, I mean, almost plus minus about 50 of our officers with cars and everything who were there. And then Police, I saw them there. I've got their main powers, but it's not with me here, uh, with me. But it was a joint operation. Uh, uh, we do join them. It's the SEPS operation. Uh, JMPD is there. I saw also the, the, the private security that is operating the CBT is the, uh, the 
um, the bad boys was there, you know, because some of the stakeholders, they, they, they need to come. Also, the, the Patola, CPF, people will all come together. What they do is that they do roadblocks, they do search and seizure, they do operations going to buildings. Uh, you do nightlife to go into areas where, you know, the, 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 the area, uh, it does not, you know, uh, comply. So um, if you want to do enforce that, you have to have the, you know, the JMPD, you have to have mm -hmm. EMS. So it was a whole joint effort. And yes, police, if they want uh, more capacity, they can have that. Because remember, police, they normally sometimes operate, they operate on a four-day in, four-day out shift. So if you want to have more police, you just have to give police more money, more standby allowance. Then people are going to come out and they're going to be, you know, like, uh, you know, coming to work. This is what we did with the TRU. We said instead of you sometimes, uh, you know, we are actually in negotiations now to actually get them more. For four day in and four day out, we said, no, it's fine. Just get out of that shift and, and do what? A flexi one, but it needs more money. So mm -hmm. you can have police. They are there. Uh, but what you do is that you must have budget so that uh, uh, you can get those ones who are at home, uh, you know, who are, who are sitting at home and ask them to really come in. They, they, they even said to us, look, we don't mind working over, over time and all of that, but you must put money. So we must put money, we must give our police money so that they are going to be insulated on the issues of maybe being tempted to take bribes also and like that. Just so, yes, it was a joint operation. All of us were there. Just, just finally then, Dr. Tswaku, um, looking at the success of, of this operation mm. last night and yeah. over the festive period, uh, you, you spoke mm. about political will when we started this conversation. How then do we ensure that this does not become a once of a New Year Eve special of sorts? How do we ensure that it goes on, as you say, that uh, it, 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 there is proof that this can work? How do we ensure that going forward we maintain this level of safety on our streets? We need, to, we need to ensure that these operations happen frequently because Chanela will happen once every two weeks or once every month where you see the police strength coming into an area. We need to have an operation. You see the JMPD, I mean, when we started, we had a lot of operation Manjanam Sanje. So Manjanam Sanje or Operation Chanela, it must be sung by everyone. People must know that, yes, yes. When you hear Operation Chanela, a thugs must just start to, you know, to, to like, you know, to really, you know, like to run away. The problem is that uh, you, you will find that these operations happen once in a while. And, you know, there's too much camera. There's too much like that. I said to the guys, look, I would like to do Manje Nam Sanje. You know, people know that I'm going to go in that area. I said, now, we want to have an undercover unit. We must go and find criminals and nab them. It, it, it's okay. We, we can have those operations. Roadblocks, they work, by the way, because you, you, you find that when you stop a search and seizure, you will actually get uh, in, in, um, uh, drugs, illegal firearms, drunk and driving, and those things. So we need to have frequent operations. Shanela must not be just once in a while. Uh, it must happen frequently. And please, you must relay this information to my uh, colleagues, about prof about, you know, uh, the, 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 the provincial commissioner, Mawela, and also Masha, and also General Begitele. At least, please, this, this must be that. And also, they must, when they come to an area, they need to alert JMPD or any metro police as a force multiplier because what they do is that they come in, parachute to themselves, go into areas where it's not a high crime area because they don't know the area. But, I mean, of course, they will know the Hillbrow and the CBD because of the crime stats. But they must be able to have a proper working relationship with the Metro Police, especially JMPD, okay. because if we can work as a force multiplier, we can arrest people, but they need to process them in terms of writing a docket and then investigation and, and lock them away. So there must be that solid strength in this because we've got the, the you know the, the people, we've got the you know many units, we've got the cars for them, we can work all of us as one. But the problem is they like to work alone, they like to undermine the metropolis. And that is the problem that they are having. Even if we're having our own operation that are initiated by the JMPD, 
but you'll find them in the parades. You will never find them because they undermine metropolis everywhere. You can right. go to Ekuruleni, Tswane, everywhere. So if they can just humble themselves, be able to work with everyone, we can fight crime and kill it. Thank you. Dr. Tsoko, we're going to have to leave it there, but thank you so much for taking time to speak to us. Uh, um, uh, Public Safety MMC, Dr. Mkini Tswaku, just uh, talking to us about the success of uh, the operation that took place uh, last night uh, in Hillbrook.